Two of the greatest attributes of your average Israeli are one, humor, and number two, resilience. And I think we can go as far as to say that these are survival tactics for the Jewish people in the modern state of Israel. Let's explain. Shalom, my friends. This is the Kiva Gersh with Israel in 5, where we give you everything Israel in 5 minutes. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or want to keep the conversation going, please do so below in the comments. Israelis have been through a lot, and they're going through a lot right now. And the Jewish people have known a long history, centuries and thousands of years of up and downs and all arounds throughout their journey in this world, throughout their thousands of years of being in this world, their history. Uh, so they really learned many lessons in terms of resilience, in terms of survival, in terms of how to make it through the toughest of times. And we see that really coming into play in the modern state of Israel, where finally the Jewish people are home. They built themselves a country, a government, a military, a society, a culture. But at the same time, they are every single day facing threats to their existence. Right? Israel, the country of Israel has not known literally a year of peace a week of peace for that matter, right? Without enemies on its borders, beyond its borders, trying to terrorize the, the one Jewish state in the world or annihilate it. So Israelis have had to become very good at self-defense, protection, and thank God they have, we have, and that is why we have one of the most powerful and successful militaries in the entire world, even though we're a very, very tiny, small country. But at the same time, it takes more than just that for people to be able to deal with so many nonstop threats to their existence. How do Israelis do it? How do they have the strength? How do they have the, the ability, the capability, the power to keep going on no matter what? And it really comes back to these two themes, this idea of resilience and, and humor, right? You see, Israelis have a way of never forgetting, right? The, this idea of never forgetting is a very deep thing in the Jewish uh, psyche. And we see that in, in the Israeli mindset as well. There are tons of memorials and ceremonies and memorial days to remember all those who have fallen, who have given their, their life as a sacrifice for their people, their nation, and their land. So forgetting is, is out of the question, right? We never forget, right? We're constantly remembering. But at the same time, there is this idea of moving on, right? And moving on and knowing how to take things in a light kind of way. Of course, that's not, when I say humor, I don't mean laughing at serious things. I don't mean laughing at tragedy uh, and things like that. But, you know, using humor as a tool, right? Even during uh, this ongoing war between Israel and its enemies, you see is Israelis on the streets, but also Israeli comedians just making light of things, right? To bring humor, laughter, the people knowing that it's healing, laughter is healing, right? Finding that light side, finding that, 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 that thing that we can still kind of laugh at, right? Uh, and creating those moments where we can still experience lightness and humor, even in the midst of, 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 of great challenge and adversity. Um, and Israelis have really become experts, pros at that. In addition, also resilience, knowing how to shake things up, knowing how to not get tied down, not how, uh, knowing how to not get um, bound by the past, right? Frozen by the past, but really, again, not forgetting, remembering, and learning from past events, but moving forward, right? Being able to move forward, right? Many years ago, over 20 years ago, during the second Antifada, when there were multiple, multiple suicide bombings, all around the country for a good four years, right? A really hard four years. You would see the site of a suicide bomber where when it happened, there was glass shattered everywhere. Unfortunately, bodies, um, uh, you know, laid out around the entire area. You go there a few days later, everything's cleaned up, patched up, and as if nothing ever happened, right? And again, not forgetting, right? But knowing how to move on, knowing how to step up, stand up, and move on. Right, to know that we're not going to give in and we're not going to give up because that's what our enemies want. Right? Having this resilience to face that ad adversity, to, to overcome the adversity, to fight against it, right? to, to overcome it, all these different things, but uh, also to be resilient enough, even if our enemies do have brief moments of, 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 of victory, right? where they get us right? and they harm us and they hurt us, right? knowing still how to move on, not to, uh, not to uh, be kept down. And, and having the tools and having the skills and the know-how uh, to really uh, keep mo moving forward with that vision, with that mission in mind of what we're trying to do here, right? To be a free people in our land connected to our national mission, our national purpose, our national history, our national story. And it's really, it's really embodied these two things so much. You spend some time here, you see it right away, both the resilience and the humor. 
the ability to love each other, to cry with one another, to feel each other's pain right, and sorrow, and at the same time, move on, even find moments of laughter, right? Create moments of, of, of humor, right? And, and have that incredible tool, that resilience to face all and any adversity in order to keep moving forward no matter what, right? Staring down our enemy, fighting the art enemy, never giving up, and again, never giving in, um, and really having these incredible tools in order to do so, knowing that these are our survival tools. These are the tools that are going to bring us forward into the future, overcoming our enemies. And please, God, getting to the day one day when we can say, it's done. We've overcome our enemies completely. I hope we see that really soon. All the best, my friends, and be well.